Welcome back to the stage of history. What's up guys? What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing out there? This is a very, very special edition of Lockout Men Makes the Call. I got a lot of subscribers that was requesting me to make this call to this particular trucking company. And today, I finally got around to doing it. This particular trucking company is very, very popular. Uh, it has its, its sponsored CDL Trucking School, and it has a whole bunch of YouTubers that, that drives for them. Uh, let me throw some names out there to you guys, and maybe y'all might know who I'm about to call. It has the trainer, Junior Hernandez. I might be pronouncing your name wrong, bro, but I apologize. If it's Hernandez or Hernandez. Keeping it 100 trucking. She was a she was a she was a truck driver for this company. Also, we got the team drivers, uh, Nick and Carla. They work for this company. And last but not least, I believe she just recently got hired there. Well, not last but not least. I got one more person. One more. But hold up, though. Um, Tiny House Dreaming. She's she's a company driver for this company. And last but not least, my man, Mr. Left Door Clothes. He, uh, he pulls for them as well. So if you guys haven't figured out just by the name drops who I'm about to call, I'm about to say who I'm about to call. Prime. Prime Transportation, located out in Missouri, Springfield, Missouri. Now, before I make the call to them, I want to bring up this app for your phone. Uh, for you new drivers out there, after you get your CDLs and when you come out of truck driving school, make sure you download this app right there. It's called Driver Pulse. This app right here has just about every carrier that you can think of that you might want to check out before you come into this game so give me a minute y'all i'll be right back and i'm about to make get the phone call started and you guys can listen in on the conversation we about to call prime right now Hey George, how's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, so I was giving you guys a call to see uh, see what Prime is all about. I, I see all these YouTubers talking about Prime, and I see the Prime trucks out here. I see uh, different, I guess, different trucking companies that pull you guys freight. Um. Well, yeah, that that could be a possibility as well. I guess. I've seen a lot of videos. You know, you got a lot of a lot of YouTubers that drive for your company. So I thought I'd give you guys a call to, to uh, see uh, see what's good. All right. Well, um, I guess how how much experience of over the road do you have, sir? Uh, I have uh three years. Uh, three years, okay. And was in, in the last year specifically? Do you have any? Yes, I've been dri okay. I've been driving since 2015. Okay, perfect. All right. And where do you live? I stay out of the Ohio area. All right. So, so out of Ohio, we offer tanker, flatbed, and refrigerated. And uh, for you specifically, with your experience, as long as it can be verified, then what we can offer you would would be a one-week paid orientation where we'll pay you per day to attend, and we provide all expenses. So we provide your travel, your hotel, and all of your meals, 
after the one-week orientation, you're looking at a CDO evaluation. As soon as you complete that process, then you're free to hit the road as a solo driver, lease operator, team driver, whatever you want to do at that point. Can I ask you, uh, do you do you guys have a, do you guys sponsor uh, CDL training as well? I mean, you know, if I got some, if I got some friends that that might be interested in coming into the uh, into the truck driving industry, do you guys uh, have a company sponsored training? Yes, sir. We we bring people on with zero experience. Is is there is there travel meals and hotels covered too? Yeah, for the first week. Um, for somebody with zero experience, they're looking at all expenses paid for the one week orientation. After that, they're looking at hitting the road for three to four weeks with their permit. Mm -hmm. uh, that part is unpaid, but Prime offers financial assistance where they can provide them with 200 a week while they complete that process. Mm -hmm. When they do, they come back and take their CDL road exam. Once they pass and obtain their CDL, then they're officially put on the payroll, so the rest of the training will be paid at a guaranteed 700 a week, which will consist of them hitting the road one more time, this time with their CDL. Uh, to a team drive 30,000 miles with a trainer. And there's also a one-year contract. As long as they fulfill it, all they pay is 100 for the program and 55 at the DMV for their permit. What will happen if they don't fulfill their obligation? So say they get their CDL license and they don't like it or something happens and they decide to uh, leave the company. What, what, will be, what, what will happen? They'll have to pay back the cost of tuition, which is right around $4,500. What area you, you guys hire out of? Like I said, I, I, you know, you told me you got, um, you got opportunities for me out of Ohio, but what other, what other areas do you guys hire out of? All over the 48. If I'm not mistaken, the, the terminal is located in Springfield, Missouri. Is that, is that the only terminal? No, sir. That's our HQ. We have another terminal in Pittston, Pennsylvania, and another one in Salt Lake City, Utah. What's the sign-on bonus, if any, and how is it paid out? There is none, sir. Say what? There is none, sir. Are there any other type of, like, incentives to get experienced drivers to come and work with you guys? Well, it depends on how you look at it. If you're asking for a bonus, no, unfortunately, we don't offer a sign-on bonus. Okay. But I mean, uh, other than our benefits and pay, uh, what really brings people over it would be our reputation. Okay. I I mean I, I hear a lot about Prime. I mean from from a lot of from a lot of previous drivers, uh, current drivers that's making videos about the company and all like that. So let's say if yeah. I, so let's say if I'm interested to come on to the company and let's say one company offers five cent more than what you guys offer. Will you be able to will you be able to match that? No, sir. What's the requirements for a pre employment drug test? Do you guys have hair follicle tests? No, they'll switch it up here at Prime, but for the most part it's gonna be a UA urinary analysis. Okay. Is there an agility test? You know, some companies want you to climb uh, see if you can climb in uh, out of the trailer, walk up under the trailer. Is there anything like that for experienced drivers? No, sir. We just ask that uh, your your medical card is up to date as long as you pass your DOT physical. That's pretty much all that is required. Now I'm not. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. I'm not a felon. I'm just curious to know what's your policies on felons. You know, like I said, I got a, I got a lot of friends. You know, a couple of them. You know. So we are uh, extremely strict, sir. I'm just going to be honest here at Prime. Uh, for felonies, we're looking at 10 years of separation from the point of completion, not from the point they were convicted. So if they were convicted, let's say in 2000, and they had to spend two years in jail with one year probation, we would start from 2003, not the year 2000. Okay. Yeah, whenever they completed, 100%. And for misdemeanors, it's five years of separation. You mentioned uh, you mentioned the orientation bit, man. Uh, how how much is how much is the orientation, and where is it held? It will be in Springfield, Missouri. You said you live in Ohio, though, right? Yes. So you'd actually go to Pittston, Pennsylvania. I apologize. So how long is orientation? It's roughly around one week. I mean, it's pretty much like four to five days. But if you need that time to wrap anything up, it's there as well. Um, 
would you be interested in coming on board as a company driver or lease operator? So for orientation, during the, uh, during the orientation period, um, will I be able to find out uh, what route I can take as far as uh, uh, lease uh, lease or or uh, solo? So you pretty much have to be decided for the most part before we bring you on board because the orientation will consist of whatever you're choosing to go with. For example, if you go lease operator, then your classes will be consisting of lease operators and that information that we can provide. Otherwise, if you go company, then it'll be in regards to that option. All right, so I want to stay on the uh, lease. Now, as far as as far as leasing, what's, what's the... What's the uh, breakdown for that? I mean, what what would I have to what would I have to do for if I decide to come on and lease with the company? So, as in regards to what you have to do, um, really, the only thing you'll have to do is number one, qualify, and then number two, just uh, you need to just come on board as a lease operator and complete the orientation process. As soon as you do, then you're free to hit the road as a lease operator. Now, with that option. Um, just to give you a little more info, our most popular lease option is a three-year lease, no money down, no credit check, walk-away lease at any time. At the end of the three-year lease, on average, two day, our lease operators are receiving anywhere between ten to 20000 for completing that lease. So with that option, you don't keep the truck, but you receive that, that money at the end for, for completing it. The way it works is you, you receive 72% of the load of revenue. The average weekly truck payment is anywhere between 800 to 1100 a week. It includes fixed costs like Qualcomm licensing, title insurance, and things like that. The net that currently our lease operators are averaging taking home after uh, paying the truck payment and uh, the taxes is anywhere between 13 to 1700 per week. And with that option as well, in regards to fuel, our drivers are not paying more than 99 cents per gallon, so long as they can average seven miles per gallon. With that option, it's not forced to dispatch. You will be your own boss. You determine when you take home time and how hard you run. Uh, in, in terms of equipment, we're currently right around 70% freight liners. The rest are Peterbilt's and internationals, and they're all 2013 or newer. And that's pretty much the basic information I can provide for the lease option. Oh, okay, okay. So, well, let's go back on the company side. What's the, um, what's the CPM? What's the starting CPM for for a three-year driver such as myself? It's going to be 47 for a reefer, 49 for a tanker, and 44 plus. Uh, 100% of what we charge the customer to secure the load for flatbed. So 47 cent, that's uh, starting pay out the gate. That's not like, uh, like it include bonuses and stuff like that. That's just my 47 cent starting, right? Yes, sir. Is that, uh, is, is that based on straight miles or is, is that a sliding scale? So if you ever have to, uh, if it ever comes a time where you'll need to reach out to your dispatcher, fleet manager for detention pay or deadhead miles, that's something you need to resolve with them at that point. I can't guarantee you that you'll get paid, but I can tell you that it is an option. It just depends on a case by case. Other than that, yeah, you are looking to expect to receive 47 cents per mile. You guys offer, so if I decide, you know, once I come on and everything, you know, the first couple of, you know, the first couple of reads is going to kind of be rough for me. Do you guys offer pay advances? Um, I know that, well, I know for lead operators, we do. I'll have to ask about company drivers. I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay. How often, how often do we get a raise? Uh, for the last five years, it's happened uh, yearly, so, um, it's and looking like if all those clients keeps doing well, then we'll keep receiving the raises. What's the raise amount? It and makes sense. And it looks like it's been a cent at least the last five consecutive years. Perdium, do you guys offer it, and is it mandatory? Um, you know what? On that one, I'm not sure either. Um, these are questions I'll have to ask 
uh, the dispatches between Mandarin's to ask them and see how they handle that. Yeah, it's all for vacation or paid holiday? Yes, we do. Um, the way it works is, I believe, after... Uh, it's it's they're broken down where I, in the first year you have one week uh, or six days, actually. And then after that, the first day into the second year of you being employed here, you receive a whole other week right off the bat okay. and after that I think it's three years and five years and then it'll just keep increasing after that okay and it is it is paid right yeah it's paid oh, okay what about holiday so I'm not sure for the drivers I know that if you're out on the road for a holiday I think that there is uh, an incentive in terms of uh, receiving more pay than normal or things like that but I don't know if it's guaranteed uh, paid holidays off for, for the drivers to be on. You know the breakdown pay? You know if I break You're down. You're talking for company drivers? Yeah, company oh, drivers. Oh, you mean for the breakdown? No, this is uh, this for company drivers. All, all, all the questions I got in my head right now is basically about being a company driver. All right, sir. Uh, the, the person I normally refer to to answer these questions, he's on the phone, so I just can't answer those questions at the moment. He's actually a former driver that uh, went recruiter, and to be honest, uh, I just don't know. Uh, and normally, I would put you on hold and ask him, but he's, he's been on the phone for quite a while as well, so. That's cool, that's cool. Would you know about, would you know about your detention pay? Yeah, so normally it, it'll kick in on average around four hours. Um, and again, it's not, not going to be between you and the dispatcher and the fleet manager, but normally it'll kick in after four hours. I know it's kind of long, but that's how it works here. How often do layover happens, and what's the pay on that? Being a uh, reefer driver, there, there's a lot of waiting. So I know that we can pay you, um, and, and again, it, it kind of just depends on the situation. So let's say you've been driving, you know, your your 11 hours, and then you're sitting on the dock for three hours waiting. You'll get paid out those extra three hours to meet your 14 hours per day that you're allowed to work. Um, and then anything in between that, again, is on a case by case between you and whoever you're working with. You guys require hazmat? No, we do not. Now, let me ask you something. If I decide to go and get my hazmat, would you guys reimburse it? No, sir, because it's not required here, so we would not do that. How many uh, How many miles I can average a week? As a solo driver here yeah, at Prime, people are averaging right around 3,000. What lanes do you have I'm interested in doing? Uh, a regional, uh, a regional. Is that available to me? Out of Ohio, we would only have one option, and that's going to be four flatbed. Are all uh, are all the miles paid? And if so, how how are they calculated? For the for the what? For a solo driver. Uh yeah. So it it'll start basically once you receive your load. It'll start right then and there, uh, based on how long it takes you to arrive at the destination. Is, is that empty and or loaded? Um, is that, again, for the dead head, like I was explaining earlier, it's just on a case by case. I, I just can't guarantee you that it will be paid out. You know how is it calculated? Um, I, I, I believe that they use the zip code to zip code. I know that they've, uh, they tried doing it actually from location uh, based on GPS, mm. but that's still not set in stone. I believe we're still using the zip code. What about an idle policy? I think it's built into the truck, so that's no good. matter what, you'll have to abide by it. Let me think, let me think. You guys reimbursed for scales and tolls? Or scale tolls? Uh, no, scales, like, you know, going, you know, getting the scale, when you go scale the truck at the cat scale. Um, you know what? That I'm not sure about either for company drivers. I would assume we do, but I, I just don't know, sir. What's the uh, percentage of dropping hooks? Okay, so um, with with that exactly, I don't have the number, but I did have one of your questions asked. So you were asking about the tolls. Yes. Right? Yes. We, we do reimburse them, actually. So, you know, I'm a runner out here, man. I mean, I, I like to get out here, and I like to get out here and grind. But I, I would like to, you know get some home time you know the the you know the reset and refresh what's what's your guys home time policy there? so with the company drivers uh if you're in an over the road position you're 
you're looking to be out three to four weeks at a time, and then home three days to four days, sir. What's the maximum amount of days I can take off? Um, you mean if you're eating your vacation time? Well, no, I'm not vacation. Like, you know, if I if I decide to go home for like more than three or four days. Well, that's that's where it gets a little tricky, sir, because if you have a vacation, mm -hmm. as long as it's approved, then whatever you can afford to take off would be the answer there. If you're inquiring about just straight OTR, no, no vacation included, then you're looking at one day off per week that you're out. Hey, uh, would I be sharing the truck with somebody? Is there slip seating? When you're training, or what are you talking about? Uh, let's say if I, let's say if I wasn't living in Ohio and you had a dedicated position, would there be slip, would, it, would the truck, would the truck be assigned to me, or would there be slip seating? Cause like I said, I'm I'm not just asking oh, no. I'm not just asking for myself. I'm asking for a few others that's that's uh, that's interested too. You know, a couple of guys. You know, they they looking to go dedicated. Which that would be a good question. Do you guys offer dedicated positions? We do, but they're very isolated and confined. I can tell you that out of Ohio, we don't have any. Well, I'll just say you you will not be sharing that truck, sir. Okay. You choose your own truck. And once you're on the road, it's yours. My driver manager or fleet manager, how, how many more drivers I got to share him with? I think they could have anywhere between 70 to 100. Yeah. Those are the ones that have higher numbers or the more experienced ones. What's the uh, pet and rider policy? If you're a company driver, you can have one passenger that's 12 years old or older. And we do allow a pet in the vehicle. They have to be under 40 pounds and they're $300 that you need to put down and then you'll pay off payments to the rest until you reach 1000 Man, I, I don't like going up into New York City or or Cali for that matter. Is there any force dispatch up in that area? Like, uh, it's not the only way you can get around force dispatch would be if you're a lease operator, sir. If you're a company driver, you pretty much have to take what you're assigned. Yeah, I but um, it, just, it also uh, depends, like for Anchor, you're looking to see a lot of that area. Uh, for reefer, you're pretty much going to be anywhere in the country. And uh, wow, well, but it's kind of in between. Okay, now you mentioned, now you just mentioned tanker. Um, but you did say that you guys don't don't have hazmat. So tanker, what? what it's what, good grade product. Oh, it's full grade products in the tanker? Yes, sir. So what additional, what, what additional experience I need to drive to? Uh, the, the drive tanker, if any. If you have zero experience, you'll need to complete a boot camp. It's two weeks of training. That's the same thing with flatbed? Yes, that's correct. Man, so, I mean, it's sounding good so far. If I decide, if, let's just say, I, let's just say I'm, I'm working with you guys and all like that. If I decide, if I decide to quit, what will be the policy for me to turn in the truck? Uh, you'll just need to drop it off. Um, wherever you're asked to drop it off. Okay. So obviously you'll be in communication with your fleet manager. If you tell them right then and there, hey, I'm done, I need someone to drop it off, he'll let you know where. Where? Oh, I, I think I asked you about team driving. If I haven't, what's, how how would I go by to uh, get, get into team driving? Yeah, the way it works here at Prime is you take a personality exam and it'll once you complete it, you'll be matched up with a couple potential team drivers. And, and yes, you guys get the chance to meet and talk. And then if you feel like it's a good choice, you guys can get the road as team drivers. Like I said, you did mention lease. Would the lease be an opportunity to purchase, lease purchase, so that I can be an owner operator with my own truck from Prime? You can, sir. Uh, I think one of the, uh, uh, well, well, one of the requirements uh, you need to put anywhere between eight to thirteen thousand dollars down if you're looking to purchase a truck. Vegan, now, yo, since you brought since we brought up the trucks, man, well, um, you already mentioned the equipment. Uh, I think you said internationals, flight liners, uh, Peterbilts, Volvos. Yes, no Volvos. Oh, no Volvos. Man, you know the Volvos, man. They they the Cadillac of the trucks out here. Are they automatics or or ten speed? 70% automatic is where our fleet is currently at. Are y'all are y'all going fully automatic or or 
or are y'all going to still keep We're both? We're trying to, but uh, the training process is still carried out through a manual truck. If I decide to come in, would I, would I be able to choose what uh, what transmission I want to drive? I mean, uh, yes, sir, you manual will. or automatic? What amenities is inside the truck? Uh, it's pretty much just, just the bare bones. If you're looking at it in the fridge or anything like that, that's your time. What about a uh, APU? Yes, sir. So we have an APU and a 1500 watt inverter in all of our trucks. Hey, does does the truck come with a drive cam? No. And what's the trucks governing that? Um, they vary, but for the most part, I think a large portion of them are anywhere between I think 60 to 65. Wait, wait. You say what now? I, I want to make sure I heard you correct. Oh, yeah. Some of them. Have Vary. I mean, it just depends on the model, whether they're lease operator trucks or company trucks. It just depends. I know I've heard of some that are 62, uh, most of them are 65, though. Okay. I, I could have sworn I heard you say 50. No, no, absolutely oh, not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so when I decide to go home, can I take the truck home? Yes. I guess. Uh, so far, man, I mean, so far, um, questions uh, you answering is a uh, is uh, pretty pretty good. Uh, do you know if you have an open door policy? Uh, when you say open door, what do you mean? So say if I have a problem with the fleet manager, I won't have a problem talking to somebody to rectify our problems? Oh yeah, I mean if you ever need to call in, you can always call in after the supervisor and you can speak with somebody in management. What, what's, your, what's your policies on cell phones? Well, you're not supposed to be using them while you're driving, that I can tell you for sure. Oh, okay. uh, if you need to use them, then Bluetooth, headphones, okay. one ear piece in only is the way to handle that situation. Do you have a refresher course for drivers that haven't driven in a while? So say like, yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right, George, man, tell me, man. I mean, so far, so far, so good. But tell me, though. What, what would be the number one reason to drive for the company? I mean, you already said you guys is not offering a sign-on bonus, but what, what would be the number one reason to drive for, for Brian? Well, sir, I would say uh, aside from pay and the benefits, which are both really good in, in, in itself, I would say just the environment, I mean, just the company itself has a lot to offer. And when you head to the training, Especially in Missouri, everybody you know, welcomes you with open arms. The friendliness that you receive from them, I think, is really worth the the risk you take to come on board to the company. I mean, you always hear from other people that you know the people they're working with are treating them, you know, disrespectfully and this and that, or they lied to bring them on board. One thing, even for example here in my regard as a recruiter, we always pride ourselves at, and I can speak pretty much for all the recruiters here at Plan, in being honest with everybody. So, I mean, I know I've heard a ton of stories of other recruiters bringing people in to other companies that straight out lied. Right. So, I think uh, with, with that in itself, sir, basically our integrity, I think, is worth coming on board to Prime. Okay. You mentioned uh, that's that's what I forgot, man. You and you just mentioned it too. What's the benefits there? Uh, it's gonna be the full set of benefits: health, dental, vision, 401k, uh, um, life insurance, HSA accounts. There's just a bunch of benefits. Okay. Which I can email you all that information to for independent contractors and company drivers. What I'll need from you, sir, is going to see your name and an email so that I can make sure you receive this information. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I'm still rocking with a, with a company, and I don't want them to be bombarded with with, with calls yet. I'll take the okay, uh, I'll take fine. I'll I'll take the information that uh, that you got, and I'll I'll definitely go over it, and I will also go over it with uh, with the people that may be interested in coming in uh, that's coming into the industry as well. Hey man, is is there is there anything else you 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 could tell me about Prime that that I haven't asked? To be honest, sir, I think we covered it pretty well. Oh okay. Um, obviously know your stuff, so I yeah. think you asked all the right questions. Thank I am being honest. Thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, how how long you been a recorder for uh, Prime, man? A couple of years now. Before this, I was with 
FedEx Freight. I was an operations supervisor over there. But you left FedEx for Prime, man. It was wow. I mean, a lot of people was trying to get into FedEx, man. Why? Why you leave FedEx for Prime? If I if I may be uh, so bold in asking. So really, it was the schedule. I needed a a schedule in the day so I could be with my family. Okay. Um, there's nothing negative I have to say about FedEx. Um, the only thing I did not like is that you know I was successful but I had a night shift and I was there for a long time right. and I just needed to be with my family since I started there you know I had a family so I got being it. away from my son was just too hard yeah I, I, I have a son as well but George yeah. you, you say George right Yes, sir. All right. Hey, man, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to holler at me, man. I, I, like I said, I, I got, you know, I, I talk to so many prime drivers. I, I watch a lot of videos of uh, Junior Hernandez in particular. Um, and, and, you know, and everybody just saying prime is just, you know, it's just, it's just awesome to work for. So, um, hey, just to let you know, man. I I I, I go ahead and uh, recorded this so I can pass this on to my um, to my peoples. Make sure you get uh, what um, some type of incentive yourself for bringing us on. So if I send, speaking of incentive, is there any um, is is there any incentive for the drivers that? that uh do referral yes sir if, if you're gonna well i mean obviously if you were on board with the company yes you would receive that for referring other drivers uh, the man you mentioned yourself just now mr junior Honduras, he's our number one referral and he makes a ton of money doing what he does yeah i can imagine like i said his uh youtube videos is uh his own point man <laughs> so I, I've been a right. I've been a I've been a subscriber to him for for quite a while. So if I want to if I if I want to go online and find out more information about Prime, what's the what's the website? Oh, uh, you know what? Prime Inc. Uh, Prime Hey, uh, George, man, listen. Um, let me ask you one more question. Oh, you're, you're cutting. Oh, can you, can you hear me? All right, can you, can you oh. hear can you hear me now? I, I see a lot of other companies pulling frying prey i mean frying prey pulling from a little goddamn tongue twisted i see a lot of companies pulling prime freight uh companies like um will tran uh rst what is it rs rti or rst what what are the what what are those companies are are they like I mean, like directly incorporated with Prime. How how that work out? Because let's say if I want to go work for them. No, sir. If, if you go to them, you'll have to go through their program. And uh, you know, Prime has more contracts than we can handle at the moment. So if it's going to take us um, too long to service a customer, then we'll reach out to independent contractors from other companies just so that we can satisfy the customer okay. and we'll take the hit on that. We'll, we'll receive our revenue out of the, the deal, but just to keep the customer happy, we'll resort to doing things like that if needed. George, man, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. All right, a lot of work, sir. All right, George, man, thank you very much. You take it easy, all right? Absolutely, have a good day. Come on, y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think about that call. Now, George, a couple of years at Prime, uh, he was recently at um, FedEx, but he enjoys Prime. A uh, few of the questions was kind of, uh, you know, but overall, I, I think it was a very good call. You guys wanted it. You guys got it. If you interested in going into Prime, give them a call. Give my man George a call. Let, let him know that uh, Lockout Men sent you, all right? I'm not gonna get no referral bonus from, from this call. 
if you guys really want to give somebody a referral bonus, give it to my man Junior Hernandez. All right, make sure you mention his name while you're filling out the application. Make sure you mention Junior Hernandez. I might be pronouncing your name wrong, bro, but. If anybody comes in, tell them Lockout Men sent you. And make sure Junior Hernandez get the, uh, get the uh, referral bonus. Well, that's it for this very, very, very special episode of Lockout Men makes the call to Prime Inc. Everybody wanted it. I done it. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I, I, I really want to hear from you guys what you guys really think about this particular call to Prime. Thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any trucking companies you guys like for me to call, leave it in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have any questions that you guys would like for me to ask these recruiters out here, leave that in the comments below. And what do you guys think of the call? Leave that in the comments below. Well, there you have it. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Lockout men, makes the call. And I will see you next time on another episode. You guys take it easy. Happy 4th of July. Peace. Welcome back to the stage of history.